Good morning. It is 535, just getting ready to leave today. We're starting a brand new project. It is a patio, and then it has a stamped border around it as well, and a small connector sidewalk. But anyways, it's pretty far from the yard, so it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge without a driver. Well, I'm the driver today, but uh, we'll see what we can do. All right, I'm gonna take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. I'm not gonna bother Jessica this morning. Looks like she's getting some training on the cappuccino machine. Morning, Missy. How are you doing today? Good. All right, have a great day. You too. Good we'll see you. see you next time. Yep. I can help you. All right, I'm just pulling into the yard. It is 618. I went and stopped at a job we're gonna be starting and I wanted to see if the guy cut the curb for us yet, which he didn't, so I'm gonna text him. But it looks like Bugs is here and that's it so far. So I gotta switch the dump trucks. I'm gonna take the Mac because it has some gravel on it already. So I'm gonna hook the Mac to the trailer and drive that out to the job. Right now it's hooked to the tandem. Jade is here. Hi, Jade. Jade. Why are you so crazy? What are you eating? Sticks? Eric's here. Francisco's here. And that's it. That's all we're waiting for. Are you strong enough to do the crank? Hey, the wide trick goes like. Turn on. Right now? Yeah. Oh, wow. Something's wrong with the white truck, Eric said. Man, it's always. Oh, look, Daryl's pulling in. Ay, ay, ay. Starter still skipping. Look who pulled in. I know. For no reason. Unless he was in jail or something. Yep. He's gotta go. We'll see. Daryl's just gonna come like nothing's wrong, watch. We gotta talk over here. What happened? I texted you yesterday morning on Daryl's phone. I got no text message from anybody. I don't know, Daryl. I'm having a hard time believing the story. Hey, I need you to come back to the yard. We gotta get some stuff still. Stamps and that. Okay. All right, bye. And we are missing texture skins, of course. All right, those are our stamps. Tino texted me, he said his daughter was in a car accident, so he's either not coming or coming really late today. I sent Daryl back home. Yeah. Okay. He just made an excuse, man. All right, now we're finally ready to go. This job is a full half an hour away from our yard. With traffic, it's probably gonna be 40 minutes, which is longer than I like to go. But I think this is the last job that's a little bit out there. The rest of the jobs this year are all nearby as far as I can remember. So we're on a pretty busy street here, which is kind of a pain. But there is nowhere to park because the road right behind me is another highway. So we're on the intersection of two highways. So we're going to have to deal with some pretty serious traffic today. How's it going? Right on time. Yeah, trying to be on time. It's always a challenge. Well, I'm gonna start unloading everything. Yeah. Cause I don't have any tape measure or paint until no, the other no, guys exactly, get here. Yeah. When they get here, then I'll have my stuff. And yeah. then, yep. then we can paint it on the ground. So we're on the same page. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Did you want to pluck that one little thing yeah. out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sure. would be easier, but I'll grab the skid yeah. steer. And, and then uh, I think I'm gonna put a tarp down and put the dirt on. Okay, that'll be fine. Hey, can somebody bring me a handful right away? I need them right now. Right here, hold this tape measure against uh, the foundation, please. Can you go disconnect, chalk the wheels on the trailer and disconnect the trailer, please? Make sure you put the chocks under the wheels. Do you know, do you have any other like lines or cable or electricity back here? Not that I know of, they, there's some in the front. Okay. There was nothing back here 
that I know of. There, All right. The only yeah, you can go to work. Okay. Of course. Unless you guys know how to shovel and stuff, set forms. Oh <laughs> no, boots! I, I'm sure you do. If you don't, I'll buy you some. <laughs> that's pretty much it. I mean, that's the that's the 20 feet, and then all right. So that's the job. It's kind of wild this morning, but it's all drawn out here. The outside line. This here is just going to be a planting bed. This is going to be a patio with stamp borders around. And then we have to bury some pipe for electrical. And then they want a pipe running to the house. They're gonna run a hose through it. She's gonna water the beds and stuff like that. So I'm going to back the dump truck up the hill, dump the gravel, start digging. And the goal today is to get it all set up and get the borders poured at around noon. We'll see how that goes. This walk goes too, by the way. Oh, leaving? Huh? It's leaving? Yeah, it's leaving. You have a weird way of putting words. The sidewalk is leaving. Yeah, it's going. Going, leaving, whatever. Bye. Bye, sidewalk. This lawn is going to take a beating. It's a long trek back with this skid loader. So it's not a, not a big job, but it's not an easy job either. This here is going to get torn to shreds turning the skid loader. And it's wet. It's not mushy, I don't think but it's, it's wet. All right, I'm gonna back the dump truck up, put the gravel right here, and then put the dump truck this way and load it in that direction. It's a weird job. The, the driveway is like a little road almost. All right, I'm gonna try to dump this gravel here. Hopefully not flip the truck over. All right, that should work for loading this thing. All right, we're ready to start digging. All right, this is all dug out here. I'm pretty sure I'm more than deep enough. I'm gonna put some pins in and get some actual strings up now. All right, I'm gonna put just a slight pitch coming this way off into the yard and down the hill because I don't want water sitting up against the base of this leach bed. It should all work out pretty good. So far it is. So I'm gonna bring it from there, cross this way and then out and around. So patio's all graded, sidewalk mostly set up. Now we're going to uh, 
I'm gonna go clean the street and the guys are gonna start setting the border. Concrete's in about an hour and 15 minutes, so we should we should be in good shape. All right, I'm gonna get this loaded onto the truck. All this area swept up and clean. All right, everything's cleaned up. Hooking the truck back to the trailer. I'm gonna load the skits here. It's about 11 o'clock right now. Why don't you put a string up there? That's how we always set two by fours with a string. Mass a yard and a half. That's just what I said too, man. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna about a we're, yard and a half. We're gonna die. Yeah. How do we go from pouring a giant parking lot right. to a yard. a yard and a half border right. in one day? Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Yes, sir. I have that noon. Yes, sir. I hope this doesn't burn up all your cement powder, but I need a yard and a half. All right, concrete's ordered. That's got to have pitch. You're not putting that level, right? It's got to have pitch going this way. Yeah, that way too. Yeah, it's, it all comes this way. All right, I think we're just about ready to go. Concrete should be here in about 30 minutes. I've never seen you guys set a two by four like that. Just <laughs> do one side and the other and run a string and you're done. It's the way we've done it since the beginning of history. Right. I've never seen that. Is it right there? Yeah. Is it right here? Yeah. Then go hold it there and get it straight. No, Did well, you put a quarter bubble on purpose or is it just messed up? I told him to level it on the end. It's got, a, it's got a quarter going that way for some reason. It was level. Well, I don't know. I didn't touch anything. It's oh, got to go oh, down a little bit. Level. It shows level. I don't know if it's high or that's low. That's the problem. So it's got to be the back one. Put it right here, Eric. Go across right across there. Something's wrong here. This one's over there. It's it's a touch low. See that right there. Two hours later. This inside one looks good now. Now the outside one needs to be adjusted. That hit that down a little bit. You got nails every six inches there. Okay, down a little, just a touch. Now put another nail somewhere. It's touch low still. Pound that pin down. Something's wrong here. No, this got to go down a little. I'm not real scared of the border, to be honest with you. Watch out, man! Eric, you're gonna get killed. I'm serious. Hey, is that Mike? Yeah, that's Mike. That's Mike's house. Is it? Yeah, that's Mike. You're right. Dude, that's Mike's house. It is. Dude, that is his. Because I seen the dump truck. That's crazy you saw I'm that. I'm like, dude, I know that dump truck. That's Mike. That's a long ride, too. It is. It's that's, like, that's like you about the other direction. Time for you. I got a power buggy up top. You only brought five sticks? Four. Four? Yeah. You are 200 feet. 200 feet? I told them 10 sticks. Yeah, they're 20 feet a piece, man. That's 10 sticks, 200 feet. Hey, hey! He only brought four rebars, so we can only put one. He was supposed to bring 10, but he only brought four. Oh, wait. Give me the shovel. I'll hand him the shovel and give him the hook. Perfect. <laughs> it's like three power buggies, though. But I brought you something. <laughs> Just concrete till I'm dead. Scrape that out. Well, you better keep some because I don't have no more at the truck. Better make a nice pile somewhere. I gotta get the color on here. It's setting up pretty good. So grab your grab your tools and do this so I can come right behind with the color. I remember one time we poured a stoop, colored and stamped. Wrong color. Opened up the bucket and it was released. Oh. From the yard. Yeah. It was in the wrong kind of bucket. <laughs> Si, señor, de lado aquí, ok. 
Easy. All right, bug is just about done working that color in. I'm gonna open the release here, spread it, and start stamping if it's ready, which I'm pretty sure that it is over there. I need somebody, to, one of you guys to work with me and start pulling pins. You got the easy job today. <laughs> At least you don't have to think about it, you just dig. Yeah, right. I gotta think about it like, which way does a stamp go? What if I put it upside down? What if I just wrecked it? Right. Tito's been working. Working the shovel. The pick, the pick. yep. Oh, what? nice job yeah. there. Yeah. Careful. Hang on a second. Right, you might have to go a little bit farther. Let me see. Yeah, I go like another little bit, like this much farther. Hey, Tito. I want this to actually be almost touching the two by four. Okay. Go ahead, dig a little more. Let's see what that looks like. Pull it all the way to the form. And this one's got to go right on top of it. All right, go ahead and put dirt all in here. Just right here. Don't, don't yeah, do get rid of this dirt. Yeah, we can bury whatever's there. We can bury. Okay. No, one's for a garden hose to go through. One's for electric. This is all higher right here. See this hump? I bet you this is two and a half inches right here. It's a root. From where? We gotta cut it off here and here. But from where? Some tree that used to be here, obviously. Eric. All right, so that's that. We'll drill the rods in the morning. We'll put the mesh. We're gonna put the heavy mesh in there because that's what I have left. And we'll pour it. Oh, you brought it. But you didn't wear it this morning. Tomorrow morning supposed to be frosty. You'll be ready. I'm ready. I'll recognize you as that guy. <laughs> all right, we're done for the day. We got everything done I wanted to. So tomorrow morning we'll come in and we'll drill all our rods all the way around the border so that interior patio is connected to the border. And then we got to finish setting a couple boards for the sidewalk and then pour it. Should be real easy. We'll finish this one tomorrow and then we're moving on to a driveway later in the week. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. Adios. Adios, Eric. Good morning, it is 5.30, just getting ready to leave for work. Today we're gonna go ahead and pour and finish up that patio, get cleaned up, and hopefully get paid, and then move on to the next one. I'm gonna take this trash out, I will see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Nice work. Morning, Jessica. Good morning, how are you? Good. Yep, pouring concrete, it's my favorite. <laughs> What's so funny? It is. Is it? Of course, I love concrete. Yeah. Really? Did you think that was impossible? No, I just no, never no. Thought that people were about I'm telling you, I know you're used to pouring coffee, but if you poured concrete, you'd be hooked. I've been getting a bag because in my mind I'm like, oh, I'll, I'll throw the garbage in there, but Never all the garbage just ends up on the floor anyway, so yep. why even take a bag? All right, have a good one. Yep. Next time. Okay, I'm pulling into the yard. It is 6.15. Bugs is here. And that's it.
I really don't have too many employees now. <laughs> Just Eric and Francisco. Bugs and Mike should be coming back and Tino's been showing up so it's going all right. We'll make do with what we have. Have about six and a half weeks. Well, about seven weeks as of today of work left. We'll get it done. We always do every year, no matter what. Let's go see Jade. Where's the dog? Oh, she's in the truck. I just, she was on the been there a while. Oh. I'll let her out. I don't even say hi to bugs anymore. I just want to see Jade. <laughs> I wish I had half her energy, man. I'm telling you what. Five, five percent. Yeah. She'll, she'll settle down eventually. Oh, yeah. Eventually, she won't even want to get out of the truck. Right. <laughs> oh, Jade sees the neighbor dog. You see the neighbor dog? <laughs> All right, we're just waiting on Eric and Francisco now. No calls, no texts. 623 right now. Eric's here. Now we're just waiting on Francisco and that's it. <laughs> What's all that writing, Eric? I don't know. They didn't know <laughs> I know what it is. <laughs> Eric got his truck impounded, but he got it out, obviously. I said, what's, what's, all, what's with all the writing on the windshield? Yeah, yeah, that's when they towed it. <laughs> License plates and everything, man. Man, you're all legal and everything now. Yeah, I'm now legal now. Yep. <laughs> all except no tailgate. <laughs> hey, there was a cop behind me. I thought he was going to pull me over because of that. Oh, yeah. But he did it. I would if I was a cop yeah, with that have, lumber sitting like that. You can't have loose stuff in the back. And then he's got a strap just holding <laughs> the gas can. <laughs> and look at, his, look at how it's around the tire. Right. Like that's going to hold anything. Look at air. <laughs> you gotta be safe, man. Why don't you get a tailgate from the junkyard? I or, you or a, them nets. Yeah, or them a nets net. Are, them nets yeah. are 40 bucks. I yeah. Like yeah, one of those nets, something. You could just run one strap from here to here. That's yeah, it. it'll it'll work with the tailgate and hold the fender on. <laughs> Dual purpose. Yeah, right. Start up that white truck. That should be good, Eric. Hit it. Oh, 7-3 always starts. Oh, Francisco's here. Francisco's here. All right, we can go. All right, it is 6.35. I just ordered concrete. I forgot to turn my camera on, but I can assure you concrete's ordered. It's a beautiful morning. Today it's 6.35. It's 41 degrees, and it has been chilly out. It is cooling down here in the great state of Wisconsin very very quickly winter is on the way all right we are back on the job so we're going to pour this sidewalk here and then we're going to pour this patio should be pretty easy and then we have some more pipe to bury there so unfortunately i forgot all my gopro batteries today so i have one battery in my pocket and that is it so footage might be a little bit limited today I'm gonna cut this one up into nice small squares and try to make it look as good as I possibly can. Really cool customers here, really nice people. All right, just waiting on the guys because I don't have any tools to work with. We gotta drill rods, put the wire mesh, a couple forms to finish out, this front sidewalk there, and then uh, pretty much we're ready. How's it going? Good. Nice job. Good morning. We're getting there. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna dress up the patio a little if you don't mind. I'm gonna do some nice like uh, diagonal joints, crisscross broom, and make it look really fantastic. Yeah, whatever you think, yeah. I think it'll look great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was, she's I'm just laying excited, it out. Yeah. I'm laying it out right now. So that's as far as the pipe you bought got. Okay. You know the other one's under this one. Yeah, it's, it's under here. You can't oh, see okay. it. It's nice, right. It's right yeah. there. 
but that's as far that's as fine. Just, yeah, I can rebury it. Okay. You this this gets washed and sealed. Okay. So oh, this isn't the actual color. Okay. okay. So there's a there's a lighter color underneath, and then this color actually gets real dark. So it'll be a blend of light and really dark. Okay. So it'll look great with your house. Okay. Yeah. yeah. It'll be like a mix between the siding and the deck. Okay. It should blend in perfect. Can you call Eric and ask him what he's doing? I've been working here for over half an hour and I haven't seen Eric here yet. I understand he had to get fuel, but he's been out by the road for at least 15, 20 minutes. Can I buy lunch for you guys? <laughs> well, of yeah. course you can. Yeah. Thank you, yeah, I appreciate you. that. Yeah. Did you hear that, Bugs? No, I didn't. Good. Right in my pocket. No, I'm just getting out by lunch. No, no, I... Eric, what are you doing out there? Did you crash a truck? Man, I've been working for over half an hour back here. No, I'm serious. And then I seen you, I seen the white truck drive that way like a half an hour ago. I try to park here, but... Oh, oh. Start drilling, Eric. We'll get the mesh after we drill. All right, we are set up and ready to go. We're just waiting on concrete. It's about 10 minutes late right now. So you see how we dialed it all in there. We use half inch rebar on this one. And then we have the heavy six gauge wire mesh that's left over from a parking lot we did. So I figure we might as well use it up. They're actually gonna build a greenhouse on this patio. So basically this, the right side of the patio, you're not even gonna see this side. You're only gonna see about half of the patio here once the greenhouse is on it, from what I understand. But we're gonna make it pretty anyway. <laughs> You'll still see some of it. And then the sidewalk, we, we ran the same, same heavy mesh. A lot of dowels, so the border never separates or settles away from the patio. I laid out diagonal joints, joints on a 45, and then we'll probably do like a crisscross broom. Once again, you're not going to see most of this patio, but we'll make it nice anyway. Right, Jade? You got to make it nice anyway. You crazy? Tell me the truth. You crazy? All right, still waiting on concrete. It's 8.21 now. Hopefully they'll be rolling up any minute. I hear some tires that sound like it could be a concrete truck. Well, it's a concrete truck. Yes. Hopefully it's my concrete truck. Oh, 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 oh! All right, I think she or he saw me, so that's good. It's kind of weird here. It's a weird driveway. It is kind of hard to see what's going on from the main highway here. Morning. Why do we get you like almost every pour? I'm not like a uh, unlucky penny. <laughs> so, unlucky? I don't know about that. <laughs> so you're gonna go right and go up there. Okay. That's the there's a truck up there yesterday. How much is in there? Way too much. Oh, come on, man. Uh, um, I mean, I was trying to get half, but she, she, she let it loose. No, it's not her fault, dude. I asked for half of the wheel. You gotta watch her and you kind of direct her. It's gotta all go back on the side of the side of the form truck. You gotta shovel it all on there. Man, I never dragged so much concrete back with the bull float ever. This whole edge is... Eric, when you do this, man, you gotta get it flat to the edge, dude. This should have been easy breezy bull floating. 
like when you strike you got to get the strike off so it's all flat to the edge even here look at the bow float see the edge of the bow float see the gap under it, yeah. it it's 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 too high the whole thing was too high no, 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 eric bring a shovel over here <sighs> flatten that out with your magnum please all right the concrete is all down bull floated guys are edging it i'm gonna snap the lines here in just a second start cutting the joints in about 20 minutes we gotta start cleaning up this giant mess getting everything washed up but i'm running out of battery so the video is gonna probably be a little bit limited i'm on my last battery now Not a daryl yes sir <laughs> yeah tito got way too much concrete he's blaming it on the driver but you're there with the power buggy watching so that is a man that is a big hunk of concrete <laughs> that might be the most we've ever had on here we'll take that off later at the yard okay all right lines are all snapped i'm gonna go ahead and start cutting the joints pretty small squares about four foot by four foot and then we're gonna do a little crisscross broom all right joints are going in setting up pretty quick i have a uh, three quarter percent nca in there which will definitely take off pretty good in the sun it's chilly this morning but it's not cold it's warming up nice as the day goes on here all right last joint now we'll be on it in just a few minutes hey so what the joints Francisco, you don't want to line this way and you don't want to line this way. You should have no lines either way here. It should just be smooth. So if you go back through, you got to take your joiner and get the line back out again. Yeah, you can wipe it with a trowel. You can do whatever, but see when you if you do the joint first, you kind of roll it. You don't put any pressure there yet. And then once you hit there, then you can start to put your pressure. That way you won't even end up with a line. Okay. You started right here, no? Yes. And you can put your finger to get a little more pressure. Because you got to get that line in there. Oh, look, the geese are moving. Geese are moving. Falls here now. That's an, it's a bald eagle. That's a bald eagle. That's an eagle? Yeah, that's a bald eagle. There, there's some around here. I see them once in a while. Really? Yeah. yeah. This is my first time I see these. Yeah, I mean, they're rare, but they're around. Yeah. Look at that. Look, he's coming back. Yeah. Oh, he's gonna go get him. Bald, bald eagle. Bald eagle. It's bald eagle out there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Like this. <laughs> Easy money. Now, now that would be patriotic if we could get a, if we could get a victory eagle. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, that would be like nice. Jay, you know, We'll call it victory. The company logo. Yeah, that would be nice. All right, sidewalk's done. We picture framed it. And uh, onto the patio. Tino's just cleaning up. Right, Tino? Yes, sir. You busy? Jade's been watching Junior too much. Jade? She's, she's just been laying around doing not much. Why is it so rough? You doing a swirl finish or? That looks terrible. I'm not done. Okay. Look at how rough. Oh my! I have to broom that four or five times to get that out. money i like that one man that one looks nice all right i'm on my last couple minutes of battery we are all done the patio looks really good very happy with it so the border just needs to be washed and sealed the color is going to be completely different than what it looks like right now for those of you that don't know about stamp concrete i come back and i pressure wash it or acid wash it 
and then there's a sealant that goes on and the color will be really quite different than it looks right now so I know customers are they were happy already this morning they didn't even see the concrete poured yet so they're gonna love it I'm happy with it we picture frame the sidewalk we're all set tomorrow we are on to a new project it's a driveway we're gonna add a sidecar parking so they can get one of the cars off out of the way all right so that's it for today I'll see you guys in the morning adios oh adios everybody adios adios Thank you.